As night fell on the Bahamas, Hurricane Dorian continued to batter the island nation. With winds up to 320 kilometers per hour and storm surges up to seven meters high, after it made landfall twice Sunday afternoon. It's one of the most powerful Atlantic hurricanes ever recorded. The storm has toppled power lines, damaged homes and torn off roofs. Despite official warnings to seek shelter, some residents were determined to ride out the storm. Many had not heed my warning. Many had remained behind and still there are individuals within the West End area who, had, who still refused to leave. I can only say to them that I hope this is not the last time they will hear my voice. Residents of the Abacos are being told not to leave their shelters, but some locals couldn't help venturing out in Marsh Harbour, where Dorian had made landfall at 2 p.m. on Sunday, to see just how bad the damage is. Look at this. We need help. Everything now. The National Hurricane Centre described the situation as life-threatening and warned that there's a risk of dangerous flash flooding later in the week due to heavy rains. Dorian is forecast to remain a hurricane for the next five days. Officials expect many residents to be left homeless.